You might notice something missing the next time you drive along the Pontchartrain Expressway. Yeah, the last piece of the Times Picking Union building that everyone recognized has now come down. Danny Montevarti has that story. A piece of New Orleans history came down Sunday night with a few tugs of cables tied around the top of the Times Picking Union clock tower. It was the last piece of the newspaper's old home to come down, and it was the most visible piece. A site along the Pontchartrain Expressway for more than 50 years. On Monday, the tower lay in pieces on the ground. The site's being cleared to make way for a drive shack, a high-tech driving range. It's been a slow, tedious process to tear down the building, which opened to much fanfare in 1968. Heavy machinery had to chew through thick concrete walls and steel beams. Crews also faced a deep concrete slab designed to hold the massive presses. Those were scrapped years ago. The plant was built as a home to the Times-Picayune and its sister paper, The Afternoon State's Item. And the joy of deadline reporting and all. Walt Philbin began his career as a young reporter at the State's Item and spoke to us shortly after the bulldozers arrived. There was so, so much juice going on. And then election night here, oh, God. But over time, reading habits began to change from paper to pixels. The New York-based Newhouse family, which bought the paper in 1952, banked big on digital. Hundreds of people were laid off in 2012, and the building, which once bustled, was still and silent after staffers moved out. Most recently, the vacant building was nothing more than a canvas for graffiti artists. And now, like a copy of yesterday's paper, it's a thing of the past. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. A group of local businessmen, including float builder Barry Kern and developer Joe Yeager, bought the building for $3 million back in 2016.